everyone and today we have a video um it's a bit different of a video um it is a video on how to load a <clears throat> film sensing 35 millimeter camera I'll try to zoom in on that a bit but as you can see there it says film sensing now this is the first 35 millimeter film camera i ever bought it's just a little uh, polaroid uh Auto flash, uh, it's 35 millimeter, it's a focus free and red eye reduction. Um, now, I also I always have my uh, <clears throat> handy dandy test roll of Kodak 400. Now, unlike something like your Canon AE1, this uh, just has the film uh, cassette just slide in right there on the top uh, just going up and down like it normally would and not upside down now this part can be kind of tricky um, kind of getting it to sense the film a bit and since the batteries in this are uh, not the best but I'm gonna go I'm gonna take a picture there we go as you can see it sensed the film And uh, the ba the battery's not the best, like I said, but um, you know they work. Uh, plus, I haven't used this camera in a, uh, a very very long time. But as you can see, usually when it gets around to uh, actually being able to load up the flash, um, it'll get a bit better. But gonna rewind it. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what it looks like on the inside. You know, it just drags it along. <clears throat> and so we're just going to keep on uh, going until we get to the very end of the roll. Which actually shouldn't be much longer considering this is only a uh, 24 special roll. And there we go. We're at the end of it. So, I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start rewinding this. Now, a great part about these type of cameras is that they have automatic rewinding. Uh, this is not one of those cameras where, you know, it takes the whole entire roll of film inside the cassette to the end and you shoot backwards from 36 all the way down to 1. Uh, but, you take all of the exposures that you know, in order. It's not uh, backwards. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to wait for this to uh, finish. Uh, as you can see, I can't take pictures uh, as it's rewinding, but um, it's kind of a slower re rewind. Uh, you know, it doesn't beat manual, but once it's done, all you have to do is take your film out. And as you can see, it... Uh, it uh, still leaves a bit of the uh, leader out, and um, I kind of like that because, uh, you know, if you're doing home developing with something like this, you know, you're going to end up, you know, just going in, you know, loading your film like you normally would, you know, just by... Going in, you know, cranking your knobs, however many, uh, you know, times and stuff and whatnot. Kind of fell out at the end, but then, you know, when you're done, you're just going to do something like this. And you're going to start rewinding it. But most of the time, since you can't see it, you're going to rewind the entire leader in. Uh, I just don't like to do this just because of personal preference. Um, so if I can usually avoid that, I will. But uh, I found myself recently uh, just going along and doing it, like uh, with this roll of Fuji uh, Color uh, Superior I shot. Um, you know, I just went and 
I just let it roll back up uh, into the camera, but you know, no big deal. I'm not the one developing it, so it's not like uh, they also have any troubles with uh, developing it like that. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I know I uh, enjoyed making this video. And remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.